Excellency, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, to talk about the refugees in Europe and uh, the supporting uh, of the URA uh, in terms of uh, human uh, support. Uh, we have all the people in Europe, but not in the uh, neighborhood of Syria or Iraq. Um, is there some help for the people, for the refugees from the UIA or uh, Saudi Arabia? This is very incorrect uh, and it's an unfair judgment uh, to be casted on us. Um, uh, first of all, uh, since the, the crisis had started, um, we have uh, accommodated more than 100,000 people here. Uh, where there are those people who came during the crisis and we have 150, so almost a quarter of a million of Syrians actually reside in the UAE. People who were here and got messed up with their passports and the visas, we made accommodation for them as well, we supported the kids in education. Um, but every country has a sovereign decision on these and we, we need to look at it uh, from different perspectives. One, where how many can we accommodate? It's a small country. But in the same time, uh, if we don't focus on pushing the, toward the political solution, we'll keep getting worse in the situation, not just us, the whole international community. Um, and therefore, I am very appreciative of all the countries, our friends and allies, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in the US, that everybody now is sitting on the table trying to um, come up with a solution and, and push for something where um, this conflict can reduce and cease. Mm -hmm. But in, the, uh, in, in terms of the uh, human rights uh, organizations, they say uh, the rights or the possibilities of the refugees to go to Saudi Arabia or the UAE are very limited and very costly uh, compared to Europe. Is that right? I don't think that's correct. I think you, uh, there should not be a judgment on a country's base on their condition, how they resolve this issue. Saudi had accommodated a lot of Syrians right up from the beginning. Uh, the, the difference or the challenges right at the beginning of the crisis when countries like the UAE or Saudi had accommodated people, this was not on the news. We didn't do it because we wanted propaganda. We did it because we believe we're there to support the Syrian people. Mm -hmm. And we support them whether they are sitting in Jordan or we support Jordan for looking after the Syrian refugees, whether they're in Lebanon, in Iraq, for example, in Erbil, we have a special camp for them as well. Mm -hmm. um, people who are here, we look after them as well. But what we see now is, is the culmination of a political solution that was never reached. And, and therefore, we keep saying that um, if we don't have a political solution coming soon, this problem will just get from bad to worse to worse. Um, uh, there is a strong drive of support from the UN and the Security Council. We need to make sure that as international community is f just to focus on that one and try to resolve the political uh, solution. We have a lot of uh, struggle in, in, in Europe uh, about this question of refugees. Uh, do you see a chance to get more cooperation between the URA or Saudi Arabia and uh, the European countries in, 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 uh, in the question of refugees? Well, let me say that it's not an assumption, it's not an imagination, or it's not something we should think. We are doing this. In reality, we are coordinating and cooperating with all the international community, with all our friends in Europe. We're doing this with Germany, we're doing this with, uh, um, with other countries as well. So um, we work on it. The solutions that come out, of course, is reflected on certain conditions, uh, how things can be resolved, where we can support. Um, UA today, just if you look at the pledge, we are nearing $1 billion supporting for the Syrians, whether it's inside and outside. We're also supporting combating terrorism um, uh, 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 within, you know, within the problem uh, inside Syria. So uh, for us, it's not just a, uh, it's not a small fixes. Mm -hmm. It is a, it's a, it's a very complex solution and we all work on it together. Excellency, we have to solve the situation. We have to solve the problem of the refugees. That means we have to take a chance to uh, solve the problem in Syria and also uh, the situation in Iraq. Uh, this is the reason why the refugees are coming to uh, the URA or Saudi Arabia and also to Europe. To Europe, exactly. What is, what is uh, uh, the opportunity? Of, are there options to solve the situation in Syria and, and Iraq? 
I think if the uh, world order sit together, you know, the countries that have influence in these decisions sit together and mobilize these decisions, it'll happen. There is an extreme effort taking place at the moment towards going back to the political solution. And for that, I think UAE is a partner and a supporter of an inter uh, international community solutions uh, and a resolution that can actually support a, a decision at the end of the day. Um, none of us can afford the suffering uh, of the Syrians, what's happening to them. It's just not sad in us, but sad in everyone. These are human beings. Mm -hmm. um, the, at the end of the day, we've, you've seen the pictures of, uh, uh, on television. None of us, I mean, we're, we're, we're all parents, we all have kids. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see that happening to any child, regardless where the child is coming mm -hmm. from. But one of the options is to fight against terrorism. What can you do to fight terrorism in uh, the countries around Arabia? First of all, let me say United Arab Emirates abhors extremism and terrorism. We are a moderate, liberal, Muslim country. And therefore, for us, um, there is zero tolerance for extremism or for um, terrorism. Having said that, today terrorism has no borders. When you talk about extremism or terrorism, you don't see borders. There's no geographical borders. It's not happening only in the Middle East. It's happening everywhere. So this is something that the international community should put efforts together towards uh, um, solutions that can support, eradicate extremism and terrorism. How can we do that? We believe that the way to do it is through uh, support of human rights. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, in terms of development, looking after people, looking after women, and education. Um, the reason you see these extremism is because there are somebody out there who can politicize religions and other aspects and manipulate people at their conditions. But those are vulnerable people because they don't have enough knowledge or education to understand what is reality and what is the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you.